Hey everybody, this is Rainbow Reviews, back at you again with another first impressions of a trailer. I mean, they just keep rolling out these trailers. This is the second video I've made today. It's hard to keep up, you know? But, um, this one might be a little out of left field, or most of you who watch my channel, all six of you, <laughs> and most of you probably don't know, that or don't follow Five Nights at Freddy's, but I mean... You know, if you clicked on this video, then good for you. Thanks for your support. Uh, but yeah, if you haven't seen it, the Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach trailer just came out. It's the new Five Nights at Freddy's game. Uh, basically, this one looks like it's gonna take place like in the '80s. It like a like a, it has like a rock star theme at like maybe like a mall or something. So I mean, we knew that going in, like before the trailer. And I gotta say, the aesthetic looks great in this trailer. It really does carry over that 80s rock theme. Maybe not, like, a ton in this trailer, but it, it does pretty well. I mean, it looks great. The aesthetic, it looks unique from the other games, which is what I was kind of worried about with this, um, this trailer. Or not this trailer, but leading up to the release of the trailer for this game. Because, what you, say what you want about Five Nights at Freddy's, but... Every single game they've had feels pretty different. I mean, maybe not so much like one or two. Like, they feel pretty similar. But anyway, like, most of the FNAF games, they f they have, like, a really different tone and atmosphere to them. But they all work really well. You know, the creator, Scott Coffin, he really mixes horror with other different elements really well. And, you know, Rockstar 80s mall theme can mix with horror very well and I think that he's really gonna pull it off uh, and I love FNAF VR I believe this one is another VR title uh, because Steel Wool is making this one and they made FNAF VR and I love the work that Steel Wool did with the last one everything came out great with the last one uh, everything looked creepy actually the last one um, FNAF VR Help Wanted it had the creepiest ending of any FNAF game in my opinion and I really loved that ending, so I think Steel Wool can pull it off again in this entry. And when you watch this trailer, an interesting twist, there's an interesting twist in this trailer, and it really caught me off guard, but I'm super excited for this prospect. I really hope it's not a mislead. So in this trailer, the protagonist, Gregory, seems to have an animatronic on his side. Gregory, be still. I think she's found us. Like, an animatronic, we might have an animatronic as, like, the friend of the protagonist. Now, that would really be, like, a total mix-up for the, for the franchise. It could really be something special. And that's why, man, I love FNAF. You know, say what you want. If you're not a fan, why'd you click on this video, first of all? But second of all, you gotta give Scott Coffin credit. I mean, he really knows his fan base. He really knows what elements to add in to really shake things up. And like a good guy animatronic, that could be something really cool. I mean, wouldn't it be like an awesome twist to see that in this game? And going off of that, the actual villain of this trailer has an awesome design. Really like one of those like smooth, sultry, creepy voices. Uh, Scott has also really improved his creepy character design game. Now, if you played or watched other people play, like me, you watched other people play FNAF VR Help Wanted, you'll know that the villain, quote-unquote, in that game, the rabbit character, it's, it's creepy on a psychological level this time. We're not just talking about animatronics with more and more teeth. We're talking about, like, deep psychological scarring designs. And the rabbit theme is kind of continuing with this installment, and I love that. You know, rabbits, you know, if Us, the movie Us by Jordan Peele is any indication, rabbits can be used for horror, like, very well as, like, a really nice aesthetic. Um, it sucks we don't really have a release date yet. At least, I don't think we do. I couldn't find one. The trailer doesn't reveal a release date. It just says more details to come soon. But uh, I think it comes out on the PS5, if I'm not mistaken, which launches on November 12th. 
So obviously it could come out before or after that. But, you know, the console it's coming out on, its release might have some indication. So it might be somewhere around there. I heard it's supposed to be around the series' fifth anniversary, which is pretty cool. So we might have to wait a bit. Or not. I don't know. I'm not very knowledgeable on release dates anyway. But I'm willing to wait because this trailer does deliver and it looks awesome. This trailer is exciting and I'm excited. So yeah, let me know down in the comments if you're excited. Or if you've never even like looked into FNAF and you just clicked on this video because you were curious, you know? New FNAF game. It's been kind of a while. And if you're not a fan, I really think you should be one. Um, people say a lot, a lot of things about this fandom, that they're a bunch of like nine-year-olds, but no, I think it has really evolved. This fandom has really grown into so much more than just cheap jump scares. It's great. Scott Cawthon deserves all the praise in the world. And thanks for watching.